Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. I will be creating a flower card using products from the latest release by Altenew and along with their stamps, dies and stencils they have released other fun products, for example this uh, 24 set of watercolors. I will use this uh, watercolor set in a video next week where you will be able to see all the colors and how I'm using it for a project. So I have here some stamps that, uh, and dies that I grabbed from the new release and I will be using these on my card today. But first I want to show you the mat that I'm working on today. This is a new uh, self-healing mat by Alta New. If you are in a market for a black self-healing mat that doesn't have a glare like the glass mat, then that's the one for you. This uh, black side has inches on top and I forgot to flip it around and the bag it is completely white. You get the same design but in white and instead of having all those measurements in inches, you get it in centimeters. At the center you get popular card making measurements, so that's four and a quarter by five and a half and you get it both in vertical and horizontal alignment and you can easily spot this 12 by 12 square which is perfect for scrapbookers. You will find the links down below to everything by the way. So let's uh, take a look at these watercolor roses, this is a new stamp set by Altenew. Probably my favorite stamp set from the whole release if I had to choose just one. I like the size of all the designs, both flowers and, and uh, leaves create really big flower compositions and uh, they're really gonna stand out on your cards. Another plus on this stamp set is that it's not a layering stamp and also it's not one of those open stamps where you get to color inside the lines. So this means that you have a stamp set that can create a beautiful cards in no time. Just use your inks and you are ready to go. For today I'm going to have some fun just with inks and uh, instead of just stamping the flower once I'm going to add some shadows, some darker colors at the center. So I did one here and I'm going to repeat the same process and I will explain exactly what I did. So first of all I'm going to turn my page so that I can stamp this, this flower one more time. I'm going to pick a color which is uh, quite uh, light. I'm going to stamp the flower and then you can leave it as it is, cut it out, use it on your project or if you want to add uh, something more interesting then ink it up with a darker shade of pink and just use a baby wipe to wipe all around the edges. This way you get a darker center so the um, flower doesn't look completely flat, it has some shadow at the center and it looks more dimensional and more interesting. Another way to add some shadows is to use your color pencils. You can even use your alcohol markers and add some shadows here and there if you want to take more time on coloring the flowers. I just went with a quick and simple way and the result is really pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to stamp one more flower so that I have enough for my flower composition later on. This time I'm going with shades of lilac. And I have listed down below all the colors of ink that I used for uh, stamping the flowers. So here I'm going with a darker shade, covering up completely the whole flower and then with a baby wipe, wiping only the edges. And then I'm going to stamp on top. In the stamp set there are a couple of buds. For those again I'm going with oranges and pinks. And again I'm doing a partial stamping, just touching the bottom of the bud with a darker shade. So I end up having a lovely shade on those as well. I like having shadows, I think that it really makes uh, the um, images come to life. And I'm going to do the same technique for the leaves as well, so I picked a few here. I'm starting with a lighter color of green, I'm going to stamp those and then I'm going to touch only areas with uh, my darker shade of green and stamp those on top. For doing partial stamping, uh, just because you have to stamp on top of the image again and again, it is really helpful if you have one of those stamping platforms, either the Misty or the um, Tonic one. But um, of course, if you have one of those stamp magics, you can do the same thing as well. Now you see here I'm stamping a bunch of leaves. I want to have uh, quite of a full flower bouquet at the end, so I need to have lots of cutouts to play with. 
I secured the matching ties on top of my uh, stamped images with some purple tape and I'm going to place them on my Gemini. I'm going to run them through and I'm absolutely happy with this die cutting machine. I can use it to cut out many dies at once and I don't have to use the handle. So I'm going to pop out all the images and I absolutely love all the colors on my table. I miss spring a lot, the lovely weather and all the beautiful flowers, so it was a fun day today on my craft room. Now I'm going to use a new background stamp by Alta New. This is called Dotted Diamonds. It is a 6x6 one, quite big. I used to tape adhesive at the back so that uh, my paper is nicely secured on my stamping platform. And then I'm going to place on top this lovely background and I'm going to ink it up. I chose to go with butternut, this is a soft vanilla color, but I think that this uh, background would look great with soft uh, grays as well, as they would create a very subtle look. And I think this background would look great as a tone on tone on a cardstock, as well as uh, if you uh, white emboss it. Having uh, tape adhesive at the back makes sure that my paper is not going to move as I stamp on it. And I'm going to warm this paper up a little bit more by using my blending brush and I'm going all around the edges using the same ink color that I used for the background stamp. I'm going to create my card base. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half side folded card. And I switched to a small scoring board, it's really handy, and uh, I found this on Creativation when I was uh, visiting the Dress My Craft booth. And I also love this stylus bone folder from them, really handy as well. At the back of my panel I'm going to use some foam tape so that I can pop it on top of my card base. I'm using my Arteza foam tape, great price and you can get it for 15% off. You will find the link and the coupon code down below. Now I am going to play around with my flowers and my leaves and try to decide where everything is going to go. Just like always I like to pop my images on top of my cards so for some of them I'm going to use foam tape at the back and for others I will go with my trusted Nouveau Deluxe glue and lay them flat. Now, just like I always say, a flower card is perfect for any occasion, so you can use any sentiment that you like. I decided to use the Hello and Hugs stamp set along with their matching dies. I absolutely love this. This is a stamp set from the previous release, but I think that, that I will be using it a lot. I like that uh, it comes with big sentiments, the Hello and Hugs, and it also has some complementary smaller ones, and that you can use the dies that give you the actual word as well as the border. So here I have cut out the outline out of white cardstock and stuck on top the black word and I also have a smaller sentiment that says my sweet friend that I white embossed on black cardstock. I went in all that trouble to cut out tiny little pieces of foam tape and uh, stuck them at the back of my word hello just because I like popping things on my cards. I glued down the little sentiment to complete my phrase. To finish off my card I'm going to add some shine. I added a few dots of glue with my Nouveau Deluxe and now I'm using my embellishment wand to stick down those little gems. And I'm going to call this card done. This video is part of a blog hop as we celebrate the latest release by Alta New. Make sure to visit my blog to find out all the details about the blog hop and the giveaways. So I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below, I love reading them. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.